Welcome to Crafty Hints. I'm Chantel. I'm happy to have you here today. Let's get to DIY one. I started off with this floral wire and I'm painting it with my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. This is one of the best black paints I have ever found. It is such a strong pigment to it. So I'm painting this wire along with these little ladybugs that I found on Amazon because I think they need their little antennas. They just, they're cute, but they needed something, right? So after I painted it, I kind of clipped it and tried to figure out the best way to make the antennas for the ladybugs which is part of the theme for the DIYs today, which I'll get to in a moment. But I took my needle nose pliers and curled them on each side, I made them all just a little bit different so that they all had a little bit of their own personality. So you can make them as long or as short as you want, as much curl or not curl if you want, but I thought they made these fun. Um, I will link them down below. I had found them on Amazon. Um, they also came with bumblebees, which I'll do some bumblebee DIYs again as it gets closer to summer. Um, whoop, it jumped right out of my hand. All right, a little bit of hot glue will attach these antennas with no problem. So I made them just like this. And I've made a couple extra for another DIY that you'll see a little bit later. Then I went to my Cricut and I cut out Ladybug Studio. So I'm making a sign for my daughter. Her nickname is Ladybug. Um, and I just thought this would be kind of cute. You could definitely use stickers from Hobby Lobby, Walmart, any craft store. I do like Hobby Lobby has such a huge array of letter stickers. So if you don't have a Cricut, you know, it doesn't leave you out to personalize your items. So then I just put my transfer tape on there and I just transferred it to this sign. I showed you the back of this. It did, I tried using um, some polish remover or something on the back, but instead I'm just going to cover that with craft paper. But my daughter's nickname is Ladybug and I wanted something for her craft room. And so this is what I came up with. And I thought it's just small enough and cute enough to be, you know, part of her room and with just a little bit of accent. I know it's super simple, but I want to show you that you can just make a little something personalized for any of your friends and family. This is just a sign I found at the Dollar Tree and it was just as simple as that. But I think it's simple yet adorable. You'll have to let me know what you think. All right, so I am partaking in butterfly kisses and ladybug hugs, which is hosted by Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY. Our co-host is Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun. I'm going to link their channels below. You're gonna wanna visit them as well as the playlist. There is going to be lots of ladybugs and butterflies, so stay tuned for the playlist below. Let's get to DIY two. Next, I took this tissue paper from the Dollar Tree and you could attach it to any printer paper. I am out of white printer paper right now, so I had this pink paper and that's what I'm going to use. And I decided to make it just as big as a piece of paper. Um, you only have to attach as much as you need and how you want to center it to print it. Now, whatever you want to print on this, you could do in Canva, you could do in Print Monkey, whatever program you like to print, you can do this. Um, my printer had a mind of its own. So that's what happened the first time I printed. So I had to switch over and use the color cartridge instead of the black cartridge. It was kind of a thing. So I'm putting this on that six by eight canvas that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just lined it up and centered it. And now I'm taking some Mod Podge. 
just a little bit at the bottom. I want to get the bottom lined up first and then I'm just going to work my way up the canvas. This is such a great way to personalize your items also. So if you don't have a Cricut, this is another way to do it. Um, I thought this is a lovely poem and wanted to just add this to this canvas. So you just continue to put a light amount of Mod Podge and it's going to start just sinking into the crevices and everything of that canvas. It works so nicely. Just make sure you can't really see the Mod Podge. You want to make sure that there's no lumps or bumps there and you just continue to smooth it out. Isn't that pretty tissue paper? It comes, you know, from the party supply area at the Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to snip each corner. Um, and you could do this however you want. You could wrap the corners a little bit more like they do with a canvas. I just chose to snip the corners. I'm going to put a little bit of Mod Podge and I'm just going to press that down and I do that. I did the top and then I did the bottom and then I just pulled in the sides. It's pretty simple. I'm going to snip off another piece here so that it lays down a little bit easier. Simple, simple. So now, like I said, I'm just going to do the bottom, then I did the sides, and then I just trimmed the back. Now I covered it with Mod Podge across the top. Now I did this on my Cricut. I made these butterflies. Um, I will link where I found these. This one was not in the studio. Now, again, if you don't have a Cricut, but you have paper punches or things like that, that's how I used to do it before I had a Cricut. So these are all things you can do. There's also butterfly stickers at the Dollar Tree and you could paint those whatever color you wanted. So I definitely played a little bit more with my Cricut this time, um, but wanted to show you and give you some other ideas on how you can still do this. I just uh, used a Sharpie. It isn't a stark black, it's a dark gray. And then I'm just lining that up. I thought that those colors would be so pretty to go with those, um, with all the greenery that's on the canvas. So I just snipped off one wing so that you do see the center. And just using a glue stick. It's better if you put it right on that part of the wing. And again, I can link that down below so that you can go and download the SVG. You could also, with the SVG, you could cut it out with scissors. So that's always an option. So just keep folding that around until you get it the way that you like. And a dab of hot glue will just set it in place. And I think this turns out adorable and just welcomes in spring. Let's get to DIY three. I start out with this sign from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to snip this off and I apologize, my camera kind of tilted there on me. Then I took these little pearl stickers from the Dollar Tree and I just snipped them right off of their sticker row. And just continue to find, you know, snipping those off. I did find I could kind of go around each side of them and I'm able to take off two at a time. But at first I really um, staggered them and wasn't sure, you know, what would fit quite right. So just add as many or as little as you'd like. If you're enjoying this, I do hope that you will give me a thumbs up and also subscribe. It helps my channel. It lets YouTube 
let other people know that, hey, this might be a good video and you would enjoy it. So please do both of those. And if you want to know exactly when I'm going to release my videos, hit that bell and it'll notify you. All right. Again, you can use your own stickers here to put that on. I gave this a coat of plaster and then just cut out welcome with my Cricut using the font Ras Rauslia? Rauslia? Oh my goodness. I can't even say it today. I will link it below. You can find it at defont.com. All right. And I did have just a little bit of spot where the paint was still wet. I might have gotten patient. That's okay. My greenery will cover up that tiny little spot where there's a hiccup, I guess you would say. And so I just put my ribbon through the hole, pulled that through, and then I just did the same with the other one. I thought that the red will help um, pull the red from the ladybugs and kind of tie it all together. So two ladybugs and a butterfly on this one. So after I got this through, I'm just going to give it a dab of hot glue and it held it perfectly. So kind of lay it down there and then just snip off any of the excess ribbon that you have there. And just do the same on the other side. Have I mentioned how thankful I am that you're watching and that you comment? I do read each and every comment and try to reply to all of them. I think it's important to get to know you all and get to know your likes and things like that. So I'm also anxious to know what you would like to see in the coming months. As we're coming out of a lot of the holidays, you know, it gets a little bit of a lull where we're not decorating for just this holiday or that holiday and we're going from spring to summer. So what would you like to see? What are you thinking about creating and you'd like somebody else to do a few things first? Let me know down below. All right, I just glued in a little bit of greenery and then I'm going to take a couple more of these ladybugs. This time I took the sticker off the back, even though they're pretty strong, it probably wouldn't adhere very well to that greenery. So I did just um, hot glue those and just attach a couple ladybugs and I just thought it's a cute little welcome sign. It can go from spring to summer even. So I thought, don't ladybugs just kind of make you smile? I think that they're so fun. I guess that's why my daughter has the nickname. She also, when she was born, the screen in my hospital room was covered with ladybugs. And so from that day forward, her nickname was Ladybug. She's 21 now. <laughs> so I only can use it now and then. And here it is all complete. I do hope again that you've enjoyed and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching today and please make sure to go to the playlist and subscribe to all these crafty ladies. You will enjoy their channels. Here's a couple videos that you might also enjoy.